Hey guys, this is John Keegan of theawakenlifestyle.com and I'm here to talk to Cliff's list. Cliff, and I did an interview recently and he, and he asked me if I would answer a question from one of the guys on his list. And this question is, I connected with a woman I'm interested in on a dating app. I've never met anyone from online dating before. How can I be sure I make a good impression when I meet her in person? Okay, great question. First things first though, guys, I don't wanna be the uh, purveyor of, hey, go out and online date. In fact, a lot of it's a waste of time. Of course you should do it. And your portfolio, if you're gonna do it, should look something like this, 80-20. 80% I'm out there meeting people in real life, uh, going out, going, uh, creating a lifestyle uh, surrounding myself with people that I'm meeting in real life. And that, for a man, is the most important thing. You have to learn to be the leader, and you have to learn to be the risk taker. So that means the risk, the first risk, of course, is to go out and say hello to strangers, uh, especially if you're particularly introverted or you find yourself not doing it at all or you're feeling stuck in your head. You've got to develop a daily practice of going out saying hi to people, giving compliments, having conversations, learning to express yourself and talk about yourself, learning to get to know her in a way that's not boring as hell, in a fun way, in a sincere way, learning to flirt, learning to give playful compliments, playful playful, playful and jabs, and learning to um, be silly, learning to be really sincere with a woman on the spot, in the moment, learning the physical, the physical conversation. How do I talk to a woman physically? You know, how do we have that conversation? So um, it's really important uh, to do that and to understand that that's really the game. Now, online dating is a lot of swiping and a lot of, uh, a lot of things and most guys aren't really connecting with the women they really wanna connect with. And uh, as all the time you put into it, you could just simply go out and meet people in real life. Like literally, you could just go out, say hi to someone, uh, and once you get good at it, you gotta date, you know? So keeping that in mind. But the question is, is how do I make a good first impression when I meet a girl? from an online dating app. Well, already you made a first impression. She must have been impressed by something, by your pictures on the dating app, number one, or, or, or your bio. So if they were true and sincere to you, your bio and your pictures to who you are, uh, that's great, so that's already a win. Now you've gotta show up with the energy to be detached from the outcome. You wanna show up on this date, and a date is an exploration. It's an exploration. It's not an, oh, I gotta get laid tonight. I gotta make this girl my girlfriend. I, ha I hope she likes me. Get rid of all that stuff and go and say, hey, you know what? And hopefully you're excited to meet her too, right? And, and hopefully she's excited to meet you. She's taking a night out of her week to come and meet you, so she's probably a little nervous herself. So understand that. So show up and with the mindset of this is an exploration a social exploration, and I'm gonna practice being a good date. I'm gonna practice my conversation skills, I'm gonna practice my listening skills, I'm gonna practice uh, what I call cold reading instead of asking 20 questions, I'm gonna practice flirting, uh, and I'm gonna give myself permission to fail. I'm gonna give myself permission to not get laid. I'm gonna give myself permission to not fall, to not uh, get this girl's approval. I'm gonna get, give myself permission to fuck this whole thing up and go home all, by, all alone uh, and the girl never talk to me again. Not that I want that to happen, I don't wanna be rude or something on purpose, but I'm gonna give myself permission to explore and to try stuff. And that mindset is the mindset to freedom because then you stop seeking her approval. And that's the thing that most guys do. They seek her approval. And, they, and the girl sees this needy, desperate puppy dog look in her eyes, in, in his eyes, and it turns her off, it repels her. But when he's really there and he's listening and he proves of himself, that's gonna turn her on. That's gonna be for any girl, but especially you show up off on an online date, she doesn't know who you are. So now you're re she's really seeing that, oh, this guy's cool, he's, he's, he's really listening to me. He's really interested in me, and that's the next thing it leads to me to. So number one is, is don't have an outcome, and don't attach yourself to any outcome and go with the mindset of exploration. Number two is, is don't, uh, don't be needy. How do you not be needy? 
uh, don't overly seek her approval. Like really, you know, um, be your own approver. And then we're moving into really connecting with her, which is you really want to be curious about her really interested in who she is. Like you wanna learn about her, but not like, hey, what, and this is a big mistake guys make. Where are you from? What do you do? How do you get there? Uh, why'd you come here tonight? And they just ask all these questions because they don't know another way to get to know her. A great way to get to know her is to make observations. Like, you seem really laid back. I'm gonna guess you meditate. You seem like you have a creative side to you. Is there something you do creatively? Oh, that's interesting. Wow, tell me more. Silence, 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 really listening and paying attention to her. So that's going to get her to open up more and more. And even though you may feel nervous, breathe and stay relaxed and, 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 and understand that silence is a man's friend. As long as he's listening, he's present and he's not listening to crazy voices in his head like, I'm not enough. Uh, uh, oh, I'm staying stupid shit like that sucks. Just stay there and listen to her and be curious about her and be okay with awkward silences. So another big thing is, is just going back, is when you show up on the date, are you dressed cool? And how you dress cool is you express yourself uh, through your style. So even little things, you can dress, wear a regular t-shirt and jeans, but you have like something like, you know, like I have this hat, it's got this Russian word that says underground in Russian. I don't speak Russian, but I got it in another country. I have these bracelets. These bracelets have meaning to me. I actually can tell a story about each one. I have this necklace. It has meaning to me and I can tell a story, but even more than that, it gives her something to say, hey, you'll notice if you wear things like this, they'll grab them and, and they'll be like, oh, it gives them something to latch on to. I'll hold on my camera here. It gives her something to latch on to and talk about and then you have a whole conversation and you don't want to just be like oh it's a silver necklace you want to be able to tell a story so like i, I have a, a stories about each one of these like this what this key means to me or what i don't think you can see but there's skulls on the bottom of this and what that means to me and and i can talk about that and then and then you can do the same thing back to her so you're just showing up that you're expressing yourself in some way through your style you're there you're detached from the outcome you're exploring and giving yourself permission to fail. You're super curious about her, and you're not just asking 20 questions, but you're making observations and then probing, and you're listening like hell. And another thing you can do during, on a, to make an impression on a first date is don't be too needy. Like, don't do what so many guys do, especially when they meet a girl online. They totally objectify her. They're totally horned up, and they're just trying to get laid no matter what. Like show up and don't be so desperate to get laid tonight. In fact, you know, like really look to make a connection with her. And, and if that happens, you're going to be having sex with her on a regular basis and hopefully more than that with her. Um, so the point is, is show up, give her a hug when you first meet her. And when you hug her, hug her very comfortably. Just give her a nice hug and your hips, like a lot of guys when they hug, here's the girl, here's the guy. A lot of guys when they hug, they they come up and they go like and they put their ass out that's his ass they put their ass out and they pull away and right away puts themselves into like a beta male position like i'm just your best friend and then that immediately second one turns her off done but if he comes up and just gives her a hug a regular hug he doesn't press his pelvis in like a pervert just gives her a regular hug then and then just Let's go, looks at her, gives her, gives her a small compliment to, to relax her because she was nervous about the date as well. Like, hey, you look great, or that's a cool shirt, or a great hat, great swag, whatever, let's go to the date. So that's, that's some really uh, important guidance I think I can help you guys with. And throughout the date, uh, feel, feel uh, free to you know, take her hand and hold it for a second. Be direct with your intention. You're not stealing something. You're not hiding the fact that you're a man and she's a woman. You're just take her hand and talk to her. So that's what I'm gonna. Uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it at. Now it's quite a lot of information. Uh, it's more than making a first impression. It's like how to kill it. So don't try to get laid the first night. Just build, have the physical conversation. Build build some comfort by touching her, and maybe even just you know hold it on purpose. Hold off sex until another time it'd be impressive to her that you were one of the few guys who didn't try desperately to get laid on the first date. So 
I think uh, that's really important, and we shall talk again soon, uh, from what I understand. Anyway, guys, it's John Keegan, The Awakened Lifestyle, here for Cliff's List, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.